Got my notes, check. Pepsi, check. Sunglasses, check. Hat, check. Thick skin, check. And sources, check. Let's go. Welcome to Golden Blue Dude, everybody. This is where we cover all of college football. So if you're a college football fan, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. I call my Patreons the Shot Callers, and I can't wait to live stream some games and watch it with my Patreons and the score prediction contest. That's going to be fun. Give yourselves a round of applause. We have reached 9,000 subscribers. It's not because of me. I'm just here yapping my head off. It's because of you hitting the subscribe button. That's why we're at 9,000. And we had a goal of 10,000 by the end of the year. We've bumped that goal up to before the kickoff of the Backyard Brawl. That's right, Golden Blue Dude trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by September 1st. Let's go. I know we can do it. On to today's rumors and theories for college football. You know how we do it around here at Golden Blue Dude. We like to talk about everything. And what we're hearing is the Super Conference realignment, the next phase. What is it going to look like? And what really kicked this off was Oklahoma and Texas going to the SEC last year. Fast forward to this year, USC and UCLA going to the Big Ten. That's really sped things up. Don't forget to check out our merchandise store. Anything you could ever want from Golden Blue Dude is at our merchandise store. My favorite shirt is actually the checklist shirt. A lot of people are leaning towards the Big 12 surviving and being that third conference. The biggest X factor in all this is the ACC grant of rights. We already know ESPN and the ACC are talking about renegotiating their TV deal. Maybe that could open up the grant of rights to where teams could come in or leave the ACC. I don't know. But that's the biggest X factor in all this right now. Can the ACC survive till at least 2036? A lot of people think that that's not going to happen. That lawyers will figure out a way around those grant of rights. So a lot of people are thinking that this is going to be the next phase. Not, not the ultimate phase. Not where it ends because they expect the SEC and the Big Ten to add more teams in the future. Right now people are thinking that the Big 12 is going to be the next conference to make the biggest moves. So this is thought to be the next step. So Big Ten, SEC staying pat at where they're at so the Big Ten would have Chile, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Maryland, Michigan, Michigan State, Minnesota, Nebraska, Northwestern, Ohio State, Penn State, Purdue, Rutgers, USC, and Wisconsin. That's 16 teams. The SEC has Alabama, Arkansas, Auburn, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, LSU, Mississippi State, Ole Miss, Missouri, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Texas a and Vanderbilt. Also 16 teams. But a lot of people think that the Big 12 is going to make a jump to 18 teams in the near future. Adding Arizona, Arizona State, Colorado, Oregon, Utah, and Washington. That looks like a really good conference, but that's only if they can reel in Oregon and Washington. And what I'm hearing is that it's been rumored that some officials of some of those teams in the Pac-12 had been seen in Dallas. I don't know the specific names or who specifically they're representing, but I'm hearing that representatives of some of those teams that I just mentioned have been seen in Dallas. This would be big time news for the Big 12. Of course, for West Virginia, conflicting interest because West Virginia is on the east side of the Big 12 and this would just be adding on the west side. Big 12 needs to go on the west side and the east side so that those east teams aren't on an island. We've already heard the rumor that the SEC is interested in Clemson, North Carolina, Florida State, and Virginia. But don't forget, right now, it would cost the team, one team, $500 million to leave the ACC. I do think it goes down gradually as it gets closer to 2036. But if a team were to leave the ACC right now, it would cost them $500 million. I've also heard that the Big Ten is interested in four teams from the ACC, and that's Virginia Tech, Miami, NC State, and Pitt. That's an interesting rumor right there. Some of those teams don't have AAU status. I know Miami's getting close to getting AAU status. Maybe they're gonna make a push to get that. That way they can get to the Big Ten. I think Miami would be fine in the Big Ten. We've already seen that the Big Ten doesn't care about geography. They went out and got UCLA and USC. So having a team in the state of Florida doesn't really matter as far as geography goes. I think it would add to the Big Ten. I think they would be competitive in the Big Ten. And I think they would add value to the Big Ten. Miami would be a good pick to the Big Ten. But that means teams would be left out in all this. I gave you the list of the teams in the SEC, the Big Ten, and the Big 12. And then the list of the teams that the Big Ten and the SEC are interested in next. That leaves a good chunk of teams left out of all this. Teams like Wake Forest, Louisville, Syracuse, Boston College, Georgia Tech, Duke, Stanford, Cal, Oregon State and Washington State. Now, out of all those teams, I think the team that would have the most clout as far as being safe would be Stanford. Their brand is one of the biggest remaining out of that bunch. 
they have an affiliation with Notre Dame. Maybe they could actually go independent with Notre Dame. Stanford has a lot of money, I'm telling you, more than you realize. So going independent wouldn't be a bad option for Stanford instead of staying in a Pac-12 that's being dissolved or potentially may be forced to merge with the Mountain West in the future because the payout for the Pac-12's TV deal is expected to drop dramatically. So they would have to be weighing their options. Hey, would we make more money staying in this injured Pac-12 or going independent? If they're going to make more money going independent, I think Stanford would go independent and they would be just fine just like Notre Dame. Maybe not as fine as Notre Dame, but pretty close. That's how strong Stanford's brand is. What about these other teams? I think Wake Forest is in a very, very bad position. They really don't add any value to any conference. They're lucky to be in the ACC. Their only hope is that the ACC stays together and that the ACC adds some teams. What about Louisville? Louisville could be an interesting pick for the Big 12, and it would help those East teams as far as travel goes. I like Louisville to the Big 12. What about Syracuse? Another interesting pick for the Big 12. I know that's a farther stretch for East and North, but Syracuse is a decent brand, and it would also help with the travels of those East teams. What about Boston College? Their brand, not quite as strong. I'm not sure if Boston College would be worth taking a chance on just to appease the travels of those East teams. Boston College might be in trouble. Their only hope, the ACC stays together. What about Georgia Tech? I actually think Georgia Tech could fit in the Big 12. I know their brand isn't the greatest. They have struggled in football recently, but they have transitioned out of that outdated triple option thing. Maybe they can build some momentum and it would help travels with the east side of the Big 12. Then there's Duke. In football, Duke is absolutely nothing. But in basketball, they're one of the best brands. Could they be a potential player in the Big 12? I think they could be because the Big 12 is a very good basketball conference. However, football is what's driving this car. So Duke might not make the cut. Duke's best option is that the ACC stays together. Then there's those other three teams from the Pac-12. There's Cal. Cal, I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of torn with Cal. I think they have a decent brand, but I'm not sure if it's good enough for the Big 12 to be interested. Then there's Oregon State and Washington State. They're actually out in the middle of nowhere. Their brands are okay, I guess, but even their football stadiums under 40,000 are right at 40,000. So I'm not sure that Washington State or Oregon State would bring much value to the Big 12, so their only hope would be that the Pac-12 somehow keeps enough members to survive and that the Pac-12 actually picks off from the Mountain West. They don't want to merge with the Mountain West and become a group of five conference. They're just hoping to stay intact, maybe six teams left, enough to draw the attention of some teams from the Mountain West. Hey, it's not much more money over here, but it is more. Come join the Pac-12. They would definitely be swallowing some pride that they've been bragging about for quite some time. Remember, one of the reasons why the Pac-12 has expanded in recent years is because of those higher learning institutions thinking that they're better than everybody else. Now they might be backed into a corner to where they might have to accept some teams that they would not have been willing to accept before. So a lot of these teams might be backed into a corner and forced to make a decision that they did not want to make. If they bugged for the past five to 10 years, they would be forced into making those decisions just to survive. So I think the teams that are in the biggest trouble if this happens would be Wake Forest, Boston College, Duke, Cal, Oregon State, and Washington State. They desperately need their current conference to stay together and stick it out. Y'all let me know in the comments section, do you think this is the next step in conference realignment or do you think it goes in another direction? That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on my next show.